Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky. Last episode, we made our way through Crystal Cave. We recruited a Bagon, a Purloin, made our way to the end, found Azelf and Grovile. Grovile was trying to steal the time gear, but Azelf was like, yo, you ain't gonna get it. I'm gonna pop crystals everywhere so you can't actually get through the lake. And Grovile was like, you know what, I'll be back. But Dos Noir came to save us, because um, even though we beat Grovile in the end of the story, like, like, we're gonna lose. But, uh... Yeah, turns out Grovile is from the future, so is Dust Noir, but Grovile's come back to cause a uh, calamity to paralyze the world, and Dust Noir is here to stop him. But they've set up a trap for Grovile, we had to spread some rumors, so I just did some like um, normal jobs and outlaw jobs off uh, off screen. Got a few items, we're like, actually looking pretty prepared now, so um, I think something might happen next. <clears throat> so here's where it stands. We've not received word of Grovile's capture. Oh. Hey, are Miss Spirit and his friends alright? We don't know that either. We've received no information at all. We're in the dark. That said, we can't go off on our own and spoil the trap. We'll have to stand down until we receive word of some sort. Until then, we should carry on with our usual work. So everyone, let's get back to work today. Okay, so we can do another um, day of missions unless we get put on sentry duty. No, we're good, we're good. All right, so let's just go do some quests. I think we're close to ranking up, I wanna say. Um, what should we get? Let's see what um, outlaw jobs there are first. I guess we could just do Beach Cave, just to progress the story a little bit further. Because I don't want to be over leveled. Miss these two in Apple Woods. Didn't have a radar orb and I uh, did not find Kronidos. Or pop it, whatever one it was. Anyway, let's go up. And I want to quickly store some stuff because I haven't been to the uh, the town yet since finishing my grinding. So let's just go and... Actually, before we put the money in, it's not much. I want to go see if I can buy anything. Also, I got an egg. I haven't... I don't know what the eggs do. I assume we can maybe hatch up. Pokemon from it. So, pardon? Um, you don't understand that? That is true. It ain't an easy idea to grasp. Didn't understand it when I said it either. <laughs> Looking after your egg. Uh, it's doing fabulously well. Okay. The egg? Uh, could it be? It's close to hatching. Oh. Will it? Hmm? Well, not quite yet. Get a little more time. Okay. That's cool. Did a quest and I got an egg. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't realize like it automatically goes to Chansey. That's nice. Any um, good TMs we can grab? What you got? Nope, just some orbs. You barely sell TMs. And when he does sell TMs, they're like 7,000 plus. Do you sell Reviver Seed? Because I will buy one. Uh, you do? Okay. And I'm also going to buy the blue gummy because obviously you guys said I need them. I don't have enough money. What if I had 1,900? Oh, no, I think I had 1,900 in the bank. I should go withdraw that, then go and buy some stuff. I'll count how many blue gummies I have. I think, like I said, I think I have like four or five. Ooh, see in a sec. Let's definitely buy some. All right, so blue gummy. Gonna get an apple, why not? I'm not. Oh, is my bag? My bag must be full. Yeah, so I can get two stuff right now. But we'll go to the deposit them, and then we we'll find. Want to get the warp seeds because that could come in handy. Right. So store. Uh, let's see. Maintain the attack and special. Okay. Uh, let's see what else, what else, white gummy, blue gummy, Use up, so I can't do anything with that, I just guess throw it away or sell it, I, I doubt I could sell it, and that'll do, so if we take, how do you sort items out again, it's select right, yeah, so we got one, two, three, four, four. I mean, I think I need 10 to 15, someone said, around that number. 
So I uh, still got a, a long way to go. But I'm gonna buy just, just one more because we already have one. Just in case something bad happens. Right, let's go to, was it Beach Cave we're going to? Also, I looked the bag on we recruited um, last episode. I wanted to see its level because I was a bit worried if I was under leveled or over leveled and it was level, the bag on's level 28. So we should be, should be a good level going forward. Like I, I don't want to be too over leveled to make it too easy. Like I don't want to go for a dungeon like this and just be going uh, like one shot everything, get like nine XP. <laughs> so we are looking good. We're looking good. Oh. I think everyone's on go and fight on their own. Oh, that's IQ. Yeah, go after foes. Yeah, it's all good. I mean, this is like a, the, one of the first dungeons we can put. Yeah, just, you don't have to go for normal attacks and just take everything out in one hit. There we go. All I'm here for is the quest. Just trying to, ooh, actually, and items as well. Find some items, that'd be great. Oh, yeah, dog pulse too good. Oh, 16 XP. Got the double digits. Oh, that's the end. Hey, Corsola. Bye, Corsola. <laughs> so all I want is items and... Yeah, the mission, which I think is... It was the fourth floor for the normal mission, and I think it was the fifth floor for the outlaw. Not sure what the outlaw mission is, but... Just hoping it's not one that runs away. Oh, ah, oh, sleep. I think sleep seed's still good. All right, so there's Tauros. Rescue you. And no. One thing I will say though is I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit sus of Dust Noir. Like, yeah, every time it's like looks like he's evil for a second. Like, oh, he knew Grow Vile and stuff. It's just, you know, he's got an alibi. It's all good, but. I know, it just seems like really awkward. Why oh, is it awkward? Like, it, it just seems really suspicious. He wants to go do this trap by himself. Like, yeah, it makes sense. You don't want all the Pokemon there. Oh, okay, we're fine. Um, you don't want all the Pokemon here, because if they are... Ooh, okay, this is bad. Can I, like, line this up? I'm gonna throw a Sleep Seed, aren't I? I can maybe get you before you go. Uh, Sleep Seed. Anyway, as I was saying, just Dust Gnar seems a bit... Sus. Hiya! Right. And then all I gotta do is go for a force palm, and I think I probably one shot you, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> 206 damage! Uh. Got the. Yes, yeah, got the max elixir. And. Yeah, that's all the missions, wasn't it? It's only two. I should approach, to approach at the two items in this floor, then gone, but it's fine. Right, give me those adventure points. Oh, I just created a good draw for it. Okay. I already got one, but it's fine. So you got back your elixir. Oh, I don't get to keep it. I don't want to heal. So I want the elixir, dude. Oh, man. Do not care about a heal seed. The elixir is actually something I kind of kind of want. Oh, well. It's all good. It's all good. So, what next? Listen, Faulty. Wonder how Azelf and his friends are doing. Do you think they may need maybe fight in Grovile now? Maybe. Oh, I just can't sleep with that on my mind. But if you stop to think, this is also strange. I mean, Pokemon coming here from the future? Something like that is really possible. That's true. It's hard to accept that Pokemon could come from the future. Come to think of it, this never crossed my mind before. The world of the future where Dust Noir and Grovile came from. What is it like? Is the future like the present day? Is it a world at peace? Oh, it's another early day tomorrow. Better, fo uh, better force myself to sleep. Going to sleep, Faulty. Good night. Tomorrow, let's do our best. Good night. Hey, you can't think about them things, man. It'll drive you crazy. The next morning. So, any news today? To be fair, Chell did say it'll probably take a couple of days, so... I started this episode because I thought it was, you know, going to happen because I did some quests and whatnot, but... Hmm, 
about the attempt to capture Groval. We've yet to receive word, okay. So, this is a test of your patience, because we ask you to carry on with your usual work. Oh! Oh, what is, what's that siren? Deputy Magnemite is here. This is a message from Officer Magnazone. We are pleased to deliver this report. Groval has finally been captured. Hey, let's go! Whoa, at last! My gosh, Groval has been caught? Oh my gosh, they did it! Yippee! There's more. Groval was captured by the Great Dust Noir. He has informed us that he will return to the future with Grovile. Dust Noir is... going home? Going back to the future? How do you go back? Do not claim to understand the process. Um, but I have heard that they will be going through a tunnel. He called it a dimensional hole. He opened a dimensional hole in the town's main square, I am told. Dust Noir told us that he wishes to say goodbye before he leaves. Therefore, he hopes that you will come see him for the last time at Treasure Town Square. Hey, well, now what, are we, what are we doing here? Let's hurry, we have to go to Treasure Town. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. It's an ultra wormhole! <laughs> so, I'm guessing Game Freak must have gone, Hey, yo, you played Explorers of the Sky. Let's just basically steal bits from this and make a game. <laughs> so you got Team Skull, you got ultra wormholes. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, I'm joking. So everyone's already here. So I don't see this uh, great dust noir around yet. What's that? This is a dimensional hole. Dimensional hole? Oh, what Magnemite was trying to explain earlier. Golly, this is it. Isn't that something? So stepping inside hit this here thing will take you to the future. Ooh, watch out. Stay clear. The instant you touch it, you'll be sent to the future. Please be extremely careful. Oof. Hey, Oxy. Miss Spirit. And as of too. The Dom. You were safe. I'm glad to see that. Naturally. So was the plan successful? Yep. I've to hand it to the Great Dust Noir. It was flawless. Grovel has been captured. And we regained all the time gears had stolen. Yep, that's excellent. Dust Noir should be along shortly. Oh, who's that? It's the Great Dust Noir. Here comes the Great Dust Noir. Everyone, make way. Ooh, well that's... That's Grover. They put a muzzle on him as well. <laughs> he looks like a bad guy, that's for sure. Hm. It's great they finally caught him. That's right, the world was nearly ruined because of him. Everyone, today I would like to share excellent news with you. Finally, Grovile. Grovile has been captured. Woo, let's go! This is all made possible by your selfless support and cooperation. Can't thank you enough. You're most welcome. As you can see, Grovar is a vicious and wicked Pokemon. His capture should result in a lasting peace for your world. Hmm, looks like they have Grovar muzzled. He can't say a word that way. But, I must also deliver a sad piece of news. It is time for me to return to the future. Everyone, I must now bid you farewell. Oh, so that was true. I'm feeling the blues. There's so much I wanted to learn from you. Oxy, Miss Spirit, Azelf, I trust you with the rest. Yep, we know. We got the time gears back. We'll make sure they return to their rightful places. The task is yours. Thank you very much for everything. You've literally saved us all. Oh, no, no, no. You've been most kind and helpful. Hope you'll continue to work to um, preserve the peace. One thing I found very suspicious is when Dustnor was like, you know, you're all saved and, and stuff, like, Groval kind of wanted to say something. I kind of feel like, I don't know. I can depend on that. Now, for the time has come. Everyone, though it pains me, Oogie, <laughs> I, hate, I hate sad goodbyes. I hope we see you again. That's not us, uh, Oh yes, before I go, I must see two Pokemon, the Don and Voltsy. That's us, let's go up there. So, this is really goodbye, Dust Noir sir, for everything you've done. Thank you, sincerely. Well, this is goodbye. Or is it? Oh? What? It's too, for, too soon for farewells, what? What? You two, 
Oh, come on with me. What the? My gosh. The Don Volsi. What was... What just happened? Wait. Why do you think I said the future? Oh. What is going on, dude? See, now I'm starting to think maybe Grovile was doing something to try and stop Dust Noir. Dust Noir is the evil one. But chapter 14, into the future. Why would he bring us unless, I don't know. Where is this? I was dragged? I can't, losing consciousness again. Oh, so the future is. So the world is paralyzed in the future like Dust Noir was saying, right? Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting, Master Dialga. While I encountered more difficulty than anticipated, I finally succeeded in the capture, yes. Oh, snap. I fully understand what must be done. Those who seek to alter the course of history must be removed from history. I will see to the elimination immediately. I understand, as you wish. I take my leave. Oh, so doesn't I was working for Dialga? And Dialga seems evil, dude. Hey, Voltsy. Wake up, Voltsy. And we're in prison. Great. But where? Oh, you're awake. This place. I think it's a jail. J jail? I just woke up a while ago, so I'm not sure what's going on. I try the doors, but they're locked. There seems to be no other way out. I think that we've been locked up. Ah. Oh. What's going on? We're locked up? Don't know what's going on either, but I may as well investigate. So I'm assuming if Dust Noir said to Dalgi, like, you know, ones that try to change history must be erased, then I guess Grovile was trying to probably steal the time gears to stop something from the this happening. Like, I don't think Grovile's evil now, I think about it. Like he didn't want to he, he wanna fight us, did he? He just wanted to fight the people stopping him from getting the time gears. Oh, I, feel, I don't know. I feel like Grovile's got to be good. Oh, look at the map. Oh, that looks awesome. It's no good, like the Don said. These doors won't open. Sure looks like we've been locked up. Hmm. How do we end up this way? I think what happened was... Dust Noir grabbed us. Then he dragged us into the dimensional hole. What? Wait. So this is maybe... Is this the future? But that's... I can't believe this. I mean, this is the future. Why are we even here? But this whole room is constructed in a way unlike anything I've seen before. Now that I've had time to digest this, maybe this actually is the future. But Voltsy, did we really end up in the future? Now what should we do? So if this place is the future, how are we supposed to get back to our world? Oh. What's up, Sableye? They're awake. How convenient. Alright, we'll do this quick. Do this quick? Do what? Ooh, they blindfolded me. I, I can't see a thing. Come with us. Don't shove me. Oh, this blindfold makes it impossible to tell where I'm going. But where are they taking us? We're here. Oh, snap, we're actually tied up? Where is this? Uh, they have me uh, trussed up. I can't move. Why is this happening? Oh, and us. Hey, I'm guessing Grover will probably be next to us one more, but I'm glad to see you. You're okay, right? Hmm. <laughs> You're clueless about what's going on, what's going to happen. Guess you can afford to be nonchalant about it. Huh? That voice came from over there. Yeah. <laughs> Grovile. You two. Do you have any inkling about uh, where you are? No. This is a stockade. They're preparing to get rid of us for good. What? G get rid of us? Wait a second. It's easy to understand why they'd want to get rid of you, Grovile. But why us? We haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> I couldn't care less. You must have done something they can't tolerate. What? You haven't done anything bad. Don't think that we're like you. 
I don't care. You're wasting time losing your cool. Meanwhile, look. Here they come. Really looks messed up like I'm gonna burn us, but <laughs> whoa. Who are they? They're the jailers who do all the dirty work around here. They also happen to be Dust Noir's underlings. What? The great Dust Noirs? Hey, it's Dust Noir. Lord Dust Noir. The three have been tied to the stakes. Good. Dust Noir, sir. It's me, the Don. Very well, say Bly. Those three? We need to be rid of them. What? Pay them no need, or no heed. You may get ready. Wait a minute, Dust Noir, sir. What's wrong with you? Why are you doing this to us? Don't waste your breath. Instead, shh. Keep your voices down so they can't hear you. Keep my voice down? You too. If you want to get away, give me your full cooperation. What? Help you grow vile? There's no time to think. Or would you prefer to stick around for, f stick around for them? Psst. Hey, you there. Tell me. What can you do right now? What? What can I do? You asked me that out of nowhere? Um... Uh, use a move? A move? That could work, but no, that's no good. We're trust up, so we can't move. Okay. Uh, do you need to be flashy? You can do anything more basic. Use an item? Okay, so it's got to be just be attack. That's it, that'll do. If it's just a regular attack, I can help too. Good. Uh, then, are we ready to begin? Very well. Be vigilant to the end. Don't take your eyes off them. Especially that grove vial. Commence. Now. Oh, snap. They're coming. Listen carefully. Sibli uses claws to strike. Yikes, that sounds scary. And that might just open one avenue for escape. The Sibli will unleash their fury swipes in a frenzy. That's our chance. If even one of their attacks were to hit the ropes binding us... Oh right! The ropes might come loose. Exactly. If that happens, lash out with an attack, then flee. But what if their fury swipes don't slash the ropes? And what if... what if the Sableye don't use fury swipes at all? If that happens, don't even think about it. Oh, endure it. Wait for your chance. If they keep going, we'll be finished before our chances come. Hey! Oh, there's a break in the rope. Now, attack! Go! Hey! What is this? There. We can't see. Compose yourselves. It's only a luminous orb. Its effects wear off quickly. Blast it! That Grovile. He fled using the flash from the luminous orb as cover. They won't get away with this. Come. Oh, dude, this story's gotten so interesting so quick. So, Dust Noir's evil, Grovile's good, we don't know. Oh, wow, just dug underground. So, we don't know what, um, why Grovile wants the time gears, but we, we assume it's probably gonna stop what's ever happened in the future here. But we don't know why, um, why that's happened. But we're safe. So, Grovile can use Dig. Sure knows many moves. So, we've got to add that scrape. We're not out of the woods yet. Let's get out of here, and fast. I like how Grover just hops around. <laughs> yes, definitely save the adventure. This is interesting, dude. See, I thought Dust Noir just seemed a bit suspicious, but I was like, he seems suspicious, but he's got, like, reasons, so I didn't really think too much of it. And then Grover was obviously attacking people, stealing the time gears, and the time gears were causing problems, so... Ah, oh, dude, this is this is a good story. So come this way. Need to keep running until we hit the exit. So come on, faster, pick it up. This is the fastest I can go. Quit ordering me around. Anyway, Grovile, what? Is this the future? That's right. You can you catch on fast. So it is after all. Are we? Are we gonna be able to get back to our world? Who knows? We just need to get away for now. If we get caught returning home, we'll be well. If we get caught returning home, with the least of your worries. Run faster. I can't. I'm exhausted. We're almost there. Look, the exit is right there. We did it. We're outside. 
Ooh. This place looks horrible. What, what, what is this? This is our world. In the future. Those boulders are floating. This is really a strange place. It's horribly dark. Not even the wind blows. It's as if all the movement. It's as if everything stopped. Exactly. What? Oh, I hear those Sableye. We have to keep running. Listen, Grovile, I'm exhausted. There's no time to rest. If they catch us, we're done. Tough it out and run. That's easy for you to say. I can't. I have to rest. Alright. This forms a natural uh, alcove. This should shield us from view. After a quick rest, we'll have to get moving again. Wait a minute. When we escaped from the stockade, we cooperated with you because we have no other choice. We didn't promise we'd go with you afterward. A bad Pokemon like you? You're not worth trusting. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy. And that Dust Noir is the good guy? Then how about explaining Dust Noir's actions earlier? It wasn't just me. They want you gone too. But that doesn't mean I should put my faith in you, Groval. I mean, I think it does. I think your trust isn't an easy task, it seems. I thought that having allies would help, but... There's no point continuing together without trust. We'll go our separate ways. I'm staying on the move. You two should get moving as soon as possible. Good luck. Wait a second. You tell us to leave soon, but it's dark out now. It's hard to see where we're going. Instead of setting off again right away, shouldn't we wait for the morning? Wouldn't it be better to leave when it gets light out? That is impossible. I hate to say it, but morning never comes. What? This world, your future. It's a world of uh, perpetual darkness. The sun never rises, so morning never comes. The darkness persists forever. But why? Because the planet has been paralyzed. The planet is paralyzed? The planet's paralysis. The planet's paralysis? That's right, I remember now. Dust Noir described the planet's paralysis before. So that's why he knows uh, everything about the paralysis. I'm assuming he caused it, or maybe Dialga caused it. So when the time goes removed, the flow of time slows in its region. So it's got to be something to do with Dialga. Like, Dialga wants time to stop for whatever reason. No winds blow. The day never comes. So neither spring nor summer ever comes. It's a world of unrelenting darkness. Be no exaggeration to call it the complete ruin of the world. So the planet's paralysis. Sure, this place resembles Dust Noir's description, but even then... It's hard to understand how the planet has been paralysed in the future. You're free to believe or reject what I'm telling you. Either way, I suggest you leave here as soon as you can. I'm going. Don't let those Sableye catch you. Ah, oh, Voltsy. Don't know what to think anymore. Wasn't the planet's paralysis supposed to be caused by all those time gears gone, gone missing? That's why we all tried to stop Groval from stealing the time gears. We did everything we were supposed to, right? Looks like the others said they would return their, return the recaptured time gears to their rightful places. That should have prevented the par planet's paralysis. But despite all our efforts, why is the planet still paralyzed in our future? Oh, I don't know who or what to believe anymore. Ah, oh, the Sableye. We can't stay here, Voltsy. Let's get ready quickly so we can get moving. Yep, let's definitely do that. Alright, so let's save the game. I love the, just how the map looks. Alright, uh, don't want to store anything. Alright, can I get rid of that now? Because it keeps... Use TM. Trash. There you go. That will be fine. We got some good stuff. Yeah, all set. Let's go. If I do get taken out, I'll just reset. I won't just like continue on and try again. Uh, let's go. Yeah, bite. 120 damage. Oh, snap! Okay, it's so got aftermath. Got to be careful. Escape hawk, nice. And a skarmory here. Okay. 
Uh, I'd rather not battle you if I'm being completely honest. There's not much I can really do. Right, just chill here for a bit, get the HP back. Okay, that'll do. Like this like area looks very familiar and I think it's just because it reminds me of certain like ROM hacks and fan games I've played, so maybe I'm thinking they use the um some of the the floor here for areas. The stairs is up there, but I just want to have a little quick look around. <sighs> Ow. Alright, let's go. Oh, literally just spawned on the stairs. <laughs> oh, that's good timing. Ah, oh, dude. Oh no. You got that? Ooh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. It's a dead end. Luckily, this, like, um, the floors in this dungeon aren't that long. Got a lot of XP here, which is good. So the shame doesn't seem like we can recruit any Pokemon. Ooh, TM. Recy what does Recycle do? Move repairs a TM. Oh! Oh! Okay. Ah. I mean, it's fine, because... Not really, I can't need to use them, but... Um, I think it was a Thunder Wave that TM was before. Oh, dude, just want this confusion to go. Come on, Fanfy, you got this. Oh, dude. Why is this Magnemite like... Oh, just so annoying. I wish confusion only lasted five turns. All right, let's get rid of you now. Oh, come on. Seriously? Can't be missing now. There you go. Sometimes this game is so frustrating. Oh, stun seed. Uh, you, you're gonna be okay, right? Um. I'm gonna use the orange berry on Fanfi now, just in case something bad happens. That's 20 damage. It's still a little scary. I'll take it out. Nice. Alright, so we got the stun seed. Uh, which way do we want to go? Let's go down. Oh, a little scared, a little scared if I'm being completely honest. I thought we were split up and... Oh, we're getting close to each other again though. Ah, stairs. Perfect. Oh, what's that? What's that seed do? It's got a question mark. Minimize both defenses. Okay, I'm going to take that. If it is going to do that, then that could be very useful later on. Get rid of the Geopebbles for now. Oh, snap. You, you got that, right? Come on, Don Fan. Not oh, Don Fan, Fanfy. Oh, it doesn't have aftermath like um, Drifloon does. Not Drifloon. Uh, Drifloon. Oh, dude, it's so annoying. Like when you miss moves. Oh, I, don't have, I can't take it. I've got too much stuff. The only thing I know I'm 100 going to take is blue gummies or reviver seeds. Ditto here, use transform. So I assume it probably transformed into us. Power band, don't need a power band, already got one. Right, I need to stop Fanfy from using natural gift. Come on, Fanfy dude. Nice. Oh, we got the um, stat boost. Okay. Oh, that was Ditto. I'll be careful. That did a lot of damage. I 
If I find the stairs, I'm going to wait for the stairs to get some HP back. So the stairs have got to be... Let's go across. Oh, Onyx. Um, let's go Force Palm. Nice. Got to be down here. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Fully HP, so that's good. This dungeon's a little bit scary. Not too bad. Ooh. Okay. It's annoying you can get... Fanfy, come on. Fanfy. Oh, dude, Fanfy, I need you to like... Annoyingly, I can't get Fanfy to come this... Oh, you know, I just have to leave him. I just want to stare at each other there. Oh, nice. Now, if they're both going to sit there and do nothing, this is fine. I'll just find the stairs. Oh, TM. Dive. Uh, I'm not going to take dive. Okay, that's fine. I should be able to one-shot you with a force palm. Stop giving me items I can't use. Gotta be careful because this stupid sandstorm is doing damage as well. What's that? Oh, gravel. Okay. Stairs. Okay. Good, 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 good. Whew. Hey, I think we made it. Look, Volty. Can that be the exit over there? Let's go over there. Oh, black and white. Do we put some distance between us and those Sableye? Let's rest a little now. Oh, there's water there. Can't really do much with it though, can we? What? This waterfall? This water isn't flowing at all. The gushing water is totally suspended in space. Is Grover right after all? Has time really stopped in the future? Why did Dust Noir bring us here? The Great Dust Noir. He was so kind to us. I don't even know what to believe anymore. If only there was some way of finding the truth. Oh, I know. There's a way of getting out the truth, Voltsy. Our dimensional scream. Yeah, your dimensional scream. Use your dimensional scream, Voltsy. Touch this frozen water. Who knows, you may see something. Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. Touching that frozen water might give us clues about what's happening to us. We can't dwaddle. Those Sableye will catch up to us. So let's do this quickly. The only reason I can think of Dust Noir taking us to the future and trying to kill us is basically he doesn't want us to um, use our dimensional scream and find out that, you know, him or Dialga is like the bad guy, but can you see anything? No, not sensing anything. No, huh? Ah, oh, it's disappointing. It would be reassuring if we could begin to understand what's happening. We didn't learn anything at all. We've spent a lot of time here. If we don't hurry, those save lives will get to us. Let's get ready and go. Alright, sounds good. Is there like a Kangaskhan statue? Yes, there is. Alright, store some stuff. Two will do. Yeah, I'm ready. Dark Hill. Oh, you got Gliscor. Okay. Uh, I didn't bite you. So much damage we do. Got the flinch. Let's go. And we missed. Great. And we missed twice. Hey. Got 31. Sweet. Oh, it's a trap that I was lucky. <laughs> gonna screech me, that's fine. Oh, stairs, nice. Don't need a warp seed, got too many. Oh, it's going in a complete circle, great. <laughs> uh yo, oh, stairs are there, great.
I really hope. I feel like because Dialga's here, we'll probably battle Dialga in the future. But I was really hoping to have my, my team ready for Dialga, but if we can't, it's fine. Um, what did it even do? I was gonna eat an apple. I want the elixir. The elixir, max elixir is too good not to get. I'm gonna bite you, Mistrevious. You're weak to dark. You, not so much, but I can still flinch you. Two hits and takes you out. I'll come Reviver Seed. Sleep Seed, that's still actually really good. For the point, I don't know what to get. I'm gonna get rid of the box. Like, I just don't. I. I got. I, I just. I want to get useful things right now. Like, as much as I want to keep it and appraise it for later on, I think it's probably best just to get stuff that can actually keep us alive. And sleep seeds are actually pretty good. Just because you can't use stupid orbs in boss battles. Really annoying. Like, orbs, like. I, I want to get in that, like, the habit of using orbs in, like, you know now on these floors but I just feel like it's sometimes unnecessary and like when I was playing Mystery Dungeon DX back in February it was just saving my orbs for boss battles and absolutely wreck them and now I mean I feel less cheesy because I'm going for like my moves going for screech going for like uh rollout agility and stuff I mean it's still kind of cheesy a little bit but it's not as cheesy as just going spam orbs for a bit you know I need to heal up Don Fan I think in Don Fan Fan Thieves getting a bit weak not yet. Oh, snap. Okay, that was close, that was close. Just wanted to chill when... Oh, I have to do this now. Orenberry, I know I've got one somewhere. Oh, we good. Oh, that shadow ball distance, dude. Ow. Are you kidding me? I'm actually gonna just... I'm gonna eat a citrus. I wanna just stay healthy. Maybe Domfan can take you out. Domfan? Domfan? Oh, excuse me, Domfan, like, Fanfy? Don't know why you're not attacking, just... So weak? What's this? It's just money, that was not worth it. I know I can just like, okay, there you go. I know I can just like hold A and B and just wait for time to heal up. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit because I feel a little bit safer doing that. I mean, nothing like just runs up at me. And can, oh, take me out. And fan food just run at him. I want to be careful of Burnett's and Gastly's because that Shadow Ball has some range to it and Burnett's kind of strong. A Steel Wing TM? Uh, oh, it's dead end. Don't need that. Oh, no. No more. I mean, Force Pump should still do a bit of damage. Luckily, we can. Even it doesn't affect it in normal games, it can affect them in this game. Stairs, good. One shot, oh, that sounds good. Oh, snap. Paralysis again, let's go. Oh, let's go, the paralysis is just amazing. Oh, okay, recovered, it's fine. Right, I think I'm gonna have to use my Max Elixir now. It's just, Bite's just too good right now not to use. I, I need it. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep taking damage, potentially almost die. That's dead end. Come on.
come to me, come to me. There you go. Nightshade missed. Oh, no, we missed. Of course we'd miss. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You made me lose all my PP. Oh, dude. You're the actual worst. Oh, that's actually so annoying. Oh, I almost said that. Oh, dude. I think I have another Max Elixir at least. At least I know Bennett's I need to just be very careful of. Can I hit you from here? Oh, snap. Okay, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, I'm gonna go... Okay, let's go. Don't, I feel like it's gonna be a dead end. Yeah. Dude, go away. No, fam. No, Fanfy, what are you doing? Are you? I swear you're on Let's Go Together, right? No, you're not. Okay. Could have sworn I left you on that, but my bad. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's good now. Floor. Can make things a little bit easier. Oh, of course, I'll spawn next to Mistrevious. Let's go for normal attacks. Come on. Why? Leave me alone. The price is actually kind of nice. Okay. Now that they're asleep. This is getting scary, dude. stairs at. Right, nice, nice. Okay, it's fine. I've only slowed. It's dead end. No, I didn't. The game's did like double. Well, I said the controller did double step. Please be it. Oh, dude, we're not getting any luck. We got, I mean, we got probably all our luck used up last episode. Oh my god, did you see all them? <laughs> we got like the stairs after stairs after stairs. I doubt we'll get that again. Oh. That's fine, I'm gonna get out of here now. So what's that thing like, that happened with Absol, when I, whenever I attack, look. Get that like effect, I don't know what that is. Oh, I think I know what that could be. I think that's, um, my PP goes, gets used like twice in it, the ability, the Pokemon, uh, pressure, I'm assuming. Oh dude, come on. Oh dude, seriously? Just one more. Force palm, there you go. Oh, it's so annoying when you just miss attacks. Stairs. Whew. Okay. We've got to be close to like the end now, right? Gonna. Uh, our belly is, yeah, probably an apple. 30 out of 100. Should know that was gonna be a dead end. Got the flinch, nice. It's not fighting one sleeping. Ooh. Take that though. Oh, 
Oh boy. So we had 10 PP, now I got... Yeah, it's pressure. Okay. At least I know now. Ouch. Oh no, don't be missing, don't be missing. Um... No berries. Oh, nice. So double check. I'm pretty sure I know berries. Sometimes, like, my tiny screen, I just miss it. Okay, we're good, we're good. I'll let Fanfy do all that. Oh, I'm thinking you don't have any moves left, actually. That might be why. Ah, that's why you've not been attacking. My bad. I didn't notice. Okay. Now nah, you should be fine. Oh, that's annoying. That curse damage is actually... Okay, we're fine, we're fine. So maybe a heal seed would get rid of that. Self-destruct. He didn't even die from self-destruct. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> he self-destructed and just lived. Yeah, you stay over there. Nope. Oh, I forgot to put you back to normal. Fine. Probably should just run then to be fair, but oh, if, I really thought you'd be weaker than this. Okay. Grow level, nice. This is really, really tough right now. can hit you, right? I'm just gonna aim it. Pick up the orb, just think escape. I mean, that's not bad. But do I want to escape? I don't really, because I'm floor 14. I feel like I've got to be close to the end. This is fine, this is fine. I've just got a... what up have I got? I honestly thought that would just hit everyone in the floor, but okay. Flinch. Had to be annoying, didn't you? Actually, I want to save my stun. <laughs> it didn't get him that far. I thought maybe we'll get a lot further away. I'm going to try again. Come on. Go away. Behind us now. Yes! So we've been climbing a long time now. We have been. Wow, look at that, Volty. That looks kind of pretty. It was true. The future really is a water darkness. That cluster of lights. It's beautiful, but those lights, isn't that the stockade? Hey, Volty. 
The great Dustin Noir saved us more than once. He taught us many things too. That's why I, I came to really respect Dust Noir. But was Dust Noir deceiving us? Even after all of this, I still can't believe it. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm feeling all jumbled up. What should we... What should we do now? How far do we have to run? How do we go back to our own world? Everyone at the guild? I wonder how they're doing. Are they worried about us? Wiggly Tough, Chatter, Badoof, and everyone else? I wonder if they're doing well. I m miss the guild. I want to see everyone. Don's feeling pretty down. It's only natural. What's happened so far? It's also hard to believe. I'm scared too. But I can't give up now. If we don't keep going, those Sableye will catch us. We've got to do something to cheer up the Don. The words of support will seem like false comfort right now. If there was something I could say. Something that offers a glimmer of hope. If only there was some hope we could work toward it. It could be anything. I just need to think of something. Hmm? What is it, Volsi? Let's return to our world. What? Let's return to our world? How are we supposed to return? Well, sure, it would be great if we could go back to our world. But how? What? We're going to first find Grovile? So we find Grovile, then what? Um, I want to ask him something. Uh, yeah, I want to ask him something. Oh, I see. Grovile went to our world from here the first time. So Grovile should know how to travel to our world. But isn't Grovile a bad Pokemon? Didn't he come to our world to steal the time gears? How could I trust anything he would say? What about you, Volty? Do you trust folk, Groval? We have to trust him. Well, I can't trust him. Pokemon like that? Never. There's no way I can trust him. There's just no way, but... I understand, Volty. Don't know why, but Dustin Wilde wants to get rid of us. That means the only other Pokemon we know here in the future? That leaves only Groval. We have no choice. We must pin our hopes on Groval. Well then, okay. Let's track down Grovile. Let's meet with Grovile and ask him how we can return to our world. But Don, let's go, Volty. Let's go after Grovile. Volty, thank you. You tried to pick me up because I was feeling down. Even though you should be just as scared as I am. Volty, I'm sorry. Even though I have my closest and most precious friend with me, I worried all alone. I almost gave up alone. When in fact, I'm not alone. Won't give up anymore, because you're by my side. I can be brave, Volty. I'm going to be fine now. So let's keep going. Let's get back to our world, together. Hey, that's the spirit. Let's go. Is there more dungeon to go through, or is this it? I think there's more dungeon to go through since Grovile left. It's been one straight shot without any branching paths. So, Grovile should be ahead of us in the same path. Let's go, Volty. Let's catch up to Grovile. Alright, first of all, we've definitely got to save it. And let's keep going. I mean, got nothing to really put in the box, have I? i put that in. Have I got any um, berries? Didn't realize I'd revive a seed in there, but yeah, let's go. All set. I hope. <laughs> Sealed room, okay. Usually these things go for protect. And we can one shot them, which is nice. Oh. At least no more stupid ghosts. That's, you know, one positive. It's dead end. So I'm assuming this is probably going to. Ooh, a shell gum. This might be another like 15 floor dungeon, which I'm fine with if we get lucky. Got some good items. We should be fine with a the TM there. I'm going to grab that. Poison jab. That could come in handy. Right, I'm going to, um, just going to throw that. 
Hey, okay. So it wasn't the right seed, but it was pretty good. Nice muck again. Let's bite ya. Harden, that's fine. Alright, what we got here? Oh, it's money. Don't really want money, I just want... I want reviver seeds and... Horum berries, don't need roll call. Oh, okay, you can fling me. That's kind of funny. <laughs> no, don't miss. Oh, a proper pass, okay, I could be... I don't want to go that way. I could be the where the stairs are, but... I just don't want to wake up the... Oh, okay. Oh, I'm so happy I missed. I think one bite and one normal attack would be good enough, but oh, there's a TM there. Got to get that just in case. What a ah, uh, what a pulse could be good. Again, I don't know who I teach it to, but just good to have, just in case, you know. Oh boy, this is gonna get scary. Dude, of course we miss. That's fine, gonna hit you with the force palm. Ooh, 156 damage. That's not a dead end actually. I thought it was a dead end, but we're good, we're good. 163, let's yeah, it's a dead end. <laughs> oh, trying to find out where to go. So it's gotta be the top left. Good, 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 good. Might sound crazy, but I feel like the AI, the enemy AI in this, in the future is a little bit worse than it usually is. They're not, I feel like usually they just keep attacking and attacking you, but I mean, I feel like we're getting kind of a nice little break. What's this? Decoy, now we're good. Stairs, sweet. Keep the stairs coming. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh, one shot on you. Good. Yeah, we are definitely a good level, I think. Some items here. Headbutt doesn't do too much. I uh, don't want them. I do want that, though. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, drink that now. That's good. Ooh. This floor is going, well, this dungeon's going a lot better than the uh, last one, that's for sure. If you want to fight, let's go. It's all good. Oh, please be a reviver. Pure seed, I mean, I'll take it. I want to heal seed. Oh, that was it. Oh, we're halfway. <laughs> Great. The fact this is halfway makes me think there's probably going to be a boss at the top, which is going to make things a little bit more difficult. But I'm ready, I'm ready. Boss battles I actually quite like. So I've gone quite deep. Not much further now. Spirit Tomb? I want to say. If I get through here, I should be at the forest. The Sable are coming. There's no time to waste. That reminds me. I wonder how those two are doing. If they eluded the Sable I? Ah, forget it. This isn't the time. I have to give priority to my own mission no matter what. I've had to complete it, even if it means uh, making sacrifices. Time to go. You there, stop. Hmm? Who's there? You invade this place with no warning? 
Then you disturb our slumber. Then without apology you try to leave. Who's there? Who are you? You dare to anger us? We expect you to pay for those insults. Where are you? Quit hiding and reveal yourself. You accuse us of hiding? We do not hide. We are. We are here. We are, yeah, spirit tomb. I thought so. There is no mercy for those who uh, transgress against us. Oh, snap. So the spirit tomb is the next boss. I'm just going to leave the money because I don't want to waste time. Nice. Because I do love the, uh, just the tile work. It looks, the ruins in this game, well, not ruins, just like the, um, just like everything. Just looks beautiful. Oh, I saw the stairs. So they're over here. Mendigo for force palm, but it's fine. Oh no. Oh, seriously, stop missing! Oh my goodness. So annoying when you miss. Yeah, you stay asleep. I'm gonna go to the stairs. Like, I don't know what tilts me more in this game. When you get poisoned, put to sleep, and just well, everything, really. Or if um, you miss moves. Let Fanfy do all that. Oh, you become terrified. Great. Can you still attack? Oh, if we just try to run away. Okay, um, I'll just do this. Okay, we're good, we're good. What's this TM? Brig oh, Brig Break could be really useful. Um, okay, I'll hold on to it now. Oh, I don't want to get rid of though. Oh, great. Just give me a break, dude. It's just in front. Does it have to be directly in front? All right, yeah, you go away for a bit. I don't know if these seeds would be a. Oh, Reviver Seed! Let's go! Finally! I actually found one. <laughs> um, swap for. that. Alright, take it slow, just need to get our HP back. Just one tile at a time. Alright, should. Be alright. Oh, I pressed wrong button. I meant to press. I pressed the the back L so the the front L. <laughs> it's fine. It's, it's it's fine. It's fine. Oh, dude. Can't be misclicking like that. No time for mistakes. All right. Yeah, let's leave you alone. As you come to me, I can easily one-shot you at least. 235 damage. Nice. Apple don't need. Oh, okay. I've got to equip that again, don't I? Okay, you'll come behind us. That's fine. Oh, there's a few... Mmm. Gonna eat. So I can take that. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Don't mind battling the probo passes, because they are pretty terrible. <laughs> I also mind fighting you as well, actually, to be fair. Sweet, 33, let's go. Ooh, new move, what do you want to learn? Charm, um, that will lower the attack, right? Halves, Oh, Gonna get rid of slam, I hate slam. But this could be good. 
Half the user's attack. Woohoo! Come on, Don, finish it off. It's annoying. It's fine. Of course, that actually gets lowered and then I miss straight away. Okay, don't need that. Why do I keep missing? Alright, let's go down. That tackle actually did quite a lot of damage. Did not appreciate that, my dude. Be real with you. Oh, stay out of there. Nice. Come to me and get force palmed in the face. Sweet, now we're now level 33. The more levels we grow, the better. Right, let's just go. Oh, that was it. Sealed room pit. Hey, that's Grovile. You two. Grovile, are you alright? Stay back. What? Why? Careful. An enemy lurks nearby. What? W where? It's right beside you. Next to me? It can't be this. Ah! <laughs> all those who trespass upon this land, none shall be forgiven. None! Not least of all, you. Who is that? Who are you? You ask that of us? Our name is Spiritomb. With the manifestation of a fusion of spirits. 108 of them. Be careful, you two. That Pokemon is strong. <laughs> Prepare to take your punishment. Oh, we'll see about that. Alright, so how do I want to do this? Mm. Right, I'll go... Let Spiritomb come to us. There you go, that's better. I'm going to go... Screech. Oh, you got the stat boost? Nice, Fanfi! Very nice. We have a charm. Okay, that's actually good. Good to go for another Screech. My defense is super down. I took a bit of damage, but it's fine. Now we spam Bite. Got the flinch, let's go. Okay, uh, I need to turn off Charm for Fanfi because it's going to keep going for that, actually. So let's go for that. I might have forgot the, the um, hypnosis. Oh no. Okay, I'm not gonna waste time. I'm gonna use the heal seed right away. Nasty plot. It's a little scary, but we're fine. Oh, I can't use the heal. I thought I can maybe still. Oh, we've done it. <laughs> well then. Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> Run away! <laughs> what was that? What was all that about? They got spooked and ran. Grovile? Are you alright? Yeah, I'll be fine. Can you get up? Somehow. That Pokemon. It was cunning. Went up my nose and took control of my body. Ugh. So that was a bad Pokemon. No, that's not true. That Spiritomb was probably upset over us trespassing in its base. It was frightening because it became so angry that it lost control of itself. But you saw what happened when the situation turned sour, it fled. It's normally a timid Pokemon. There are many such Pokemon here in your future. They are Pokemon who should be good, but they've become bitter and twisted because of this world's per perpetual darkness. I see. Good Pokemon going bad because of this world. That makes me sad. Hey, you two. Now will you finally trust me? Um. Somewhat. I'll admit it. I don't really trust you, but... Hm. I've told you before. There's no point in continuing together if there's no trust between us. I'm leaving. Oh, wait. At least I don't believe you. To be perfectly honest, we don't know what's what's what anymore. That's what we want to know as much as we can learn. And it's true, I still don't completely trust you, Grovile, but what you said does make some sense. It just seems to be logical. So please, Grovile, please tell us what you know. Tell us about this future and why you came to our world. So, what if everything I say is a pack of lies? It's alright. I won't accept everything you say at face value right away. I'll listen, then decide. Well, fine. Follow me. 
Ooh. Finally gonna learn the truth. I think I, I, we can trust Grovile. Definitely wanna save the game. That Spirit Tomb boss battle was easy. So easy. Ooh, chapter 15, the secret of the planet's paralysis. Good. This will do. Those Sableye won't be able to spot us easily here. Tell us, Groval, in the future, why did the planet's paralysis take pl place? The cause of the planet's paralysis? That dates back to your time, in the world of the past. The planet's paralysis started with the collapse of Temporal Tower, which was governed by Dialga. D Dialga? Who's that? He's the legendary Pokemon that controls time. Dialga ensured the proper flow of time from Temporal Tower. But when Temporal Tower collapsed, time gradually got out of control. Eventually, the planet fell into paralysis. What, what happened to Dialga? When time went out of whack, Dialga also lost control. Now here in your future, the planet has become fully paralyzed, and thus Dialga has, has lost almost all its reason, and is governed by darkness. Dialga is now beyond recognition. He's become an entirely different entity. Yes, he's been transformed into Primal Dialga, a primordial presence. I really hope if we get Diamond and Pearl remakes, I really hope they bring Primal Dialga into the story. I think that'd be so cool. So Primal Dialga feel, feels no emotion. He seeks only self-preservation, so he prevents history from changing. That's why Dialga wants me gone, because I try to change history, because I try to stop the planet's paralysis. So I travel back to, to uh, back in time to your world from this place, your future. What? Grovar, you're saying that you came back to our world so you could prevent the planet's paralysis? But that's completely the opposite of what we were told. Grovar, you came back to our world to paralyze the planet, didn't you? And Grovar, weren't you the one still in the time gears? You've got to be joking. I was collecting time gears because they were needed for preventing the planet's paralysis. I needed to take them to Temporal Tower and put them in place. That, that would have reversed the collapse of Temporal Tower, which was fully underway in your time. While it is true that removing a time gear from a specific place causes time to stop in that area, that's only temporary. After the time gears are put into Temporal Tower, time would have fully been restored to normal everywhere. But then, what about all the things Dosnoa said about you? Like how he said you were a wanted outlaw in the future, how you escaped from the future, then fled to our world in the past. So you're claiming that all was just a bunch of lies? What else could it be? Because Dust Noir really is an agent sent from this future by Primal Dialga to get rid of me. What? Dust Noir was an agent sent to get rid of you? That's right. I've said that Primal Dialga will try to thwart any attempt to alter the course of history. That's why, when he learned that I traveled through time, he sent Dust Noir after me. The great Dust Noir, it can't be. It's hard for you to believe, I know. I can't believe it all. You're saying all this about the great Dust Noir? I don't understand why Dust Noir is acting this way here, but but I respected Dust Noir. I can't, I can't believe you. It's hard to accept, but looking back over what we've been through in the, this future world, what Grovel said is reasonable. It makes perfect sense. The Don knows it. The Don knows deep down that what Grovel says is true. But knowing that makes it much harder to accept. But hey, where are you going? I'm gonna see Dust Noir. What? I want to see Dust Noir. I'm gonna find out uh, what you said is true or not. What's the point of that? you only be making it easy for them to get rid of you. you don't stand a chance against them. Then, what am, I supposed to, what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Didn't you wonder this earlier? You decided that you would decide for yourself. You insisted that because you don't know what to believe. You wouldn't ex accept words for their face value. You'd think for yourself. It's times like this when things are tough. You have to be strong. Think for yourself then act as you deem right. Grovile, what are you gonna do now? I'm going back to the past again to stop the planet's paralysis. To do that, I need to find Celebi. Ce Celebi? That's right. You can come with me or not. It's your choice. You two decide on your own course of action. I'm off. Oh, I love the music. Don't know what I should believe either, but there's one thing I can say with certainty. In the future world of darkness, the planet is paralyzed. The paralysis of the planet, it happened back in our world. That's why, to stop that from happening, we have to get back to the past. We have to get back. Back to our world. Faulty. Yes. I know. What Grovel said? Grovel is right. Things are very tough now. That's why we have to be strong. I'm alright now. Let's go. Let's catch up to Grovel.
Faulty, we have to. We have to get back. Back to our own world. Good. Got us established. Just temporal tower, isn't it? Ooh, Master Dialga. The stage has been set for the capture of the traitors. When the time comes, it may be necessary for us to beg your help, Master Dialga. Oh, he's not happy about that. As you wish. By your leave, we shall proceed. But what? What was that? Strange sensation. Had that strange sensation before. Where, where are we? This is Dusk Forest. His name comes from the dark fog that perpetually shrouds it. Deep in this forest, we should, we should find Celebi. Hey Grovial, you mentioned the name before, but who is Celebi? Celebi is a legendary time travel Pokemon. She has the ability to cross time. But, well, she's a little odd. But anyway, Celebi's ability enabled me to go to the past. So if we find Celebi, can we return to our world? Yes, you can go back. But, Celebi is the Pokemon that sent me to the past. That means Celebi has lent her support to reshape in history. Wait, you saying that Celebi's in trouble too? That's right. Primal Dialga is also targeting Celebi, so there's no time to waste. Get ready soon, we have to find Celebi. Ooh, wait, wow, I think this is probably a great place to end this episode off then. Next episode, we'll go and find Celebi. Man, the story just took a massive turn, man. Massive turn, I'm... I'm really enjoying this, but I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.